Here are the top LEGO Star Wars minifigures this year that are worth investing in. Please note, this video is not financial advice. Now let's dive in. Number 6. Hercheck Hellfest. Exclusive to 75290 Moss Eisley Cantina. MSRP is $25 for this minifig. The set the minifigure comes in it was released in October of 2020s and it has a 4 year and 3 month shelf life. When, right now, this set is sold out in all major retailers. On eBay, it's selling for around $540 after tax and it could be a temporary stock issue, but it's something to keep an eye in case the set goes back on stock. The set is an absolute must have for LEGO Star Wars collectors. Honestly, I think it's a huge potential potential value-wise in the long run. You're almost getting $230 worth of minifigures. I have zero worries about this set increasing in value after it retires. Personally, I didn't pick one up because of the high shipping and the fees that comes with this set are big. For people who sell on Facebook Marketplace or locally, this set could be a great investment. How fast along with other exclusive minifigures is definitely worth considering to pick up. Number five, Shin Ha Tee. Exclusive to 75364, the New Republic E-Wing versus Shin Ha Tee Starfighter. MSRP is $20. This figure has really caught my attention, especially since it's exclusive to a set that goes for over $100 and no reprints have been announced. What I like about the set is that the mini Minifigure selection has five min exclusive minifigures, and I believe that it will be sought off after retirement. And their combined value of minifigures is sixty dollars, which is a great sign for investing, as the set has a short shelf life of one year and four months. And right now, its limited availability could boost over time, which is a great sign for potential investment. There are a few things to keep in mind. Over the past month, there's only been five hundred units of the set sold on Amazon, which is surprisingly low for a set this big. Plus, on eBay, it's pretty undersupplied with only forty-seven listings available in the U.S. In addition, the set she's came in has been rarely discounted. The most recent discount for the set was at Target for seventy-six dollars. Number four, the 332nd Clone Trooper. Exclusive to 75359, the 332nd Battle Pack. MSRP price for this minifig is $4. Fans haven't lost any interest in army building and not by a long shot. Look at the 501st Battle Pack. It retired in 2022 and still one of the best Lego investments out there. I mean, it went from the $30 MSRP to $62 on Amazon, nearly doubling its value. And on eBay, you can see it going for around $45. So that thing's going crazy right now. Last month alone, you 501st Battle Pack sold around 5,000 units on Amazon. Now, compared to the recent Battle Packs, I mean, people aren't really lining up or army building them the same way. Some, some collectors aren't even thrilled with the new helmet holes on the new clone designs, but that's not the main reason. The real issue is that the figures themselves don't have the same appeal or exclusivity that the fans want to collect in bulk. Let's talk about numbers. Right now, there's only about 148 listings of the 501st on eBay, which is surprisingly low. That's way below what you usually find for in-store packs. If you search, you'll struggle to find many listings under MSRP, and the same scarcity is happening to the 332nd battle pack. That one's moving around 3,000 units monthly. It's seriously looking that investors are underestimating how valuable that the 332nd battle pack will be over time. The 332nd battle pack is set up to for some serious gains in the aftermarket. The supply is dwindling and demand is still really high. And if you're a collector investor, it's be one of the best sets to pick up. The 332nd Battle Pack is often discounted. Lowest I've seen was $11 after Walmart Cash and Honey Cash Bag. Number three, Commander Fox. This is exclusive to 75354, the course on Guard Gunship. MSRP is $26 for this minifig. And label clone troopers have always been solid investments. The first ever Phase 2 Commander Fox may be one of the best yet. The set that includes in the Republic Gunship is performing super well for its price, selling around 1,000 units on Amazon in the past month. But here's the thing you don't need to buy it right now at full price even though it comes with five minifigures three of which are unique and those figures are worth that $81 waiting for a discount is smarter personally I'm holding out for at least 40% number two Harrison Dula this is exclusive to 75357 the Ghost and Phantom 2 MSRP is $30 this figure was released in September of 2023 and there's a lot of good things to say about this figure first off let's talk about Amazon exclusives like this ghost set a lot of people are excited thinking fewer units will make it more valuable here's the catch Amazon exclusives have a lot of lingering stock after retirement the lingering stock can affect aftermarket prices and also can mess with resale prices. Let's take a look at the 2015 Ghost set retailing at $90 MSRP and it doubled in value much faster. But this newer Ghost set is retailing at $160 so it's tougher to flip for good profits unless Amazon runs out fast in stock. If you're considering the, picking up this for investment, watch out for the main and fourth promos on lego.com and it's going to be a good time to grab it at a better price. There's a plenty of good things going on for this minifigure but my main concern is that Amazon keeping this Ghost set in stock six months after retirement which could disrupt my investment strategy. If you're looking to invest in this figure, the best time would be during May the 4th. Promotions on lego.com or Black Friday. Number one, Balin Skull. Exclusive to 75364, the New Republic E Wing versus Shin Hati Starfighter. MSRP for this minifigure is $20. I'm really impressed by this figure, especially since it's been no news about reprints, and it's exclusive to a set priced over $100. This includes my top six Lego Stars minifigures to invest in 2024. Please subscribe for more Lego investing content. Comment below what minifigures you're planning to pick up.